What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Hope you're all doing well out there. So, as you may have noticed, I haven't been posting videos in a while. Uh, real life has just been hammering at me and keeping me away from the hobby table, which also, by the way, is in the garage, which is freezing right now because we're right in the middle of the Christmas season. So, uh, it's hard for me to pull myself out here anyway, even when I do have a couple of minutes like I do now to film. But I just want to let you know that coming to the end of 2023, wrapping up my year in review, I want to let you know that moving forward, uh, one of my focuses is really going to hone in on painting the models that I truly love, that I believe don't get enough representation on YouTube, such as the old, well, I guess maybe now they are getting more representation with the Bretonians coming in the old world, but I like the old models, the old metal models, the Grail Reliques, from Bretonia, the this metal steam tank, which I still absolutely adore and can't wait to get painting, and this Marauder Giant, one of my childhood dreams to paint up this guy. So I uh, really want to focus on the things that I enjoy, and that means that I have to cut out or lessen the things that were going to be a lot of work anyway that I wanted to really do, but just am not able to with the amount of bandwidth I'm going to have moving into 2024. Um, my lady boss is expecting twins, twin girls. We are going to be having twin girls in the first three months of uh, February uh, of 2024. So March or April, it's going to be around there when the girls are going to come. So my brain is uh, already juggling my son and now having the twin girls to prepare for is is a it's a real wake up call. So uh, the Heroes of Hobbiton game that I wanted to really get going is unfortunately going to have to hold off for a little while until uh, things settle down a little bit. I am going to continue painting the models for my patrons, my patrons on Patreon. So if you have a hero model that uh, you're going to be supporting my studio with, I'm going to be painting them up, and I still want to do those cinematic. Uh, Patreon, Patreon thank you videos at the end of my videos. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do a whole uh, full out game system. It's just me and uh, I'm really not, uh, there's no sort of compensation that I can really justify that I devote so much time, which I'm already strapped for time. Yeah, you know how it is. This is my hobby and I'm not getting paid to do this as, as much as I would love to be paid. Uh, more, but I want to hone in and focus on the things that I love doing. So one of my projects next year, I want to uh, build and paint up an entire Battle for Skull Pass uh, collection of night goblins and dwarves. I, I was lucky enough to be the recipient of some night goblins here from the Battle of Skull Pass, those old classic figures, as well as these dwarves. Um, I just can't wait to go back to painting them and uh, getting ready for the old world, but also just to enjoy painting. Like my my love of the hobby, as much as it was ignited when I was a kid, it really uh, blossomed when the Battle for Skull Pass came out and I got back into the hobby after my my hiatus. So many of us have had our 10 year hiatus from the hobby while we took care of school and uh, got our lives in order. And when I got back into the hobby after college, uh, just looking for something to devote all of my energy and creativity into, uh, it was Warhammer and rediscovering my love of this hobby. So I remember purchasing the Battle for Skull Pass, assembling the miniatures, and then saying, I really want to get into painting and then going out and um, buying the how to paint miniatures the citadel master class remember that blue book and it had a whole uh section for painting night goblins and uh, i just really got into the hobby from there so i want to share that with you guys and gals and i want to um really ignite that passion and that fire of creativity within all of you we're all working on different things moving into 2024 there's so much to enjoy in our hobby and over the years, I've been so lucky and blessed to be able to uh, build a collection of miniatures. And going into 2024, my goal now is to pass them on to someone else who's going to lovingly take care of them. Not all of them, but I mean, you know, selling stuff on eBay and um, 
making some money to be able to support my family. So uh, from Igor and the gang, we're hoping that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving or having a great holiday season. Um, moving forward into 2024, expect to see more videos of mine where I'm going to be sharing what I'm putting up on eBay. Also talking about my love of classic Warhammer fantasy and uh, anything that comes out that I really enjoy that I want to share with you guys. This uh, journey has been <laughs> has been a, a very um, very tumultuous roller coaster ride for me, and uh, I want to thank all of you who have taken the time to check out my videos, to uh, support me through Patreon for my patrons out there. And uh, even just by clicking the like button on my YouTube videos, leaving a comment, that really helps uh, nudge my videos up the little algorithm ladder and share them with more people. So thank you for supporting me through the years. Moving forward, it's not gonna be as consistent with the content um, unless I can start figuring out a way to support myself financially, independently through this crazy YouTube thing. Uh, speaking of which, if you would like to check out some of my other work, I've uh, released some eBooks, some um, books on Kindle and uh, every other uh, eBook retailer out there. You should check them out. I uh, am really, really proud of them. The first series that uh, I really am uh, trying to push is this new military steampunk series, uh, short reads, only seven to 10,000 words every book. And uh, the first three are absolutely free. The fourth is only 99 cents. And the fifth one is entering its final edits right now. And also the audiobooks for all of these are gonna be either free or very, very cheap compared to other audiobooks. I just wanna share the, um, the talents of my audiobook narrator and get more people to see what I'm working on. So I hope you check it out. The link is down below in the description, and I hope you're all having a great day. Keep painting, keep finding the things you enjoy doing. If you're not able to paint, uh, no worries, because this hobby is so wonderful in that you can step away, handle your own business, your life, take care of what you need to take care of, your family, your mental health, your your physical health and well-being. Um, if you're just not able to, uh, I, I don't wanna say that I struggle with uh, a lot of the depression and anxiety that uh, I know is afflicting a lot of people out there, but it's just been really hard for me to um, to not be able to post videos like I used to with the tutorials and all of that. So we want to keep it positive moving into 2024. As Bob Ross said, uh, you got to have some of the, the dark times to enjoy the, the bright good times. And uh, I feel like a lot of us are due some some good happy times around the corner. So thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to support my studio, that Patreon link is down below. Or just check out one of my books or just leave me a thumbs up and a comment to say hello. Have a great, great, great day. And um, I'm, I'm planning to make more videos before Christmas. But uh, if not, uh, happy holidays, happy new year. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Merry Christmas! Ho ho ho!